Hey, welcome back everyone. Thank you for taking time and initiative to learn this AZ-900 Azure Fundamentals Examination course. My name is Sushant Sutish and I am your instructor for this examination course. So we just completed three modules of this entire learning path. This is the final learning path. And in this learning path, we're gonna go through Azure pricing, service level agreements and lifecycle. And the first lesson of this module is review Azure subscriptions. Using Azure requires an Azure subscription, which provides you with authenticated and authorized access to your Azure products and services and allows you to provision resources. An Azure subscription is a logical unit of Azure services that links to an Azure account, which is an identity in an Azure Active Directory or in a directory that an Azure AD trusts. An Azure account can have one or multiple subscription that have different billing models and to which you apply different access management policies. You can use Azure subscription to define boundaries around your Azure products, services, and resources. There are two types of Azure subscription boundaries you need to be aware of. A billing boundary and an access control boundary. In a billing boundary, the subscription type determines how an Azure account is billed for using Azure. In an access control boundary, Azure will apply access management policies at the subscription level, and you can create separate subscription to reflect different organizational structures. Let's explore different subscription offers. Azure offers free and paid subscription options. A free account can get you with 12 months of popular free Azure services, a $200 US credit to explore any Azure services for 30 days, and 25 plus services that are always free. Your Azure services are disabled when the trial ends and when your credit expires for paid products, unless you upgrade to paid subscription. A pay as you go subscription allow you to pay for what you use by attaching a credit card or a debit card to your account. Organizations can apply to Microsoft for invoicing privileges. Then there is enterprise agreement for larger organization and student agreement for educational purposes. Let's talk in a bit more detail about Azure Free Account. An Azure Free Account provides subscribers with 12 months of most popular services, a $200 credit to explore any Azure services for 30 days, and over 25 services are free. Some of the questions you may have about the free account are, do you pay anything to start with your Azure Free Account? No. Starting is free, plus you get $200 credit you can spend during the first 30 days. So the second question you may have is, what do you need to do to sign up for a free account? All you need is a phone number, a credit or a debit card, and a GitHub or a Microsoft account. Another question you may have is, what happens once you use my $200 free credit or I'm at the end of the 30 days. Microsoft will notify you so you can decide if you want to upgrade to pay as you go pricing and remove the spending limit. If you do, you will have access to all the free products. If you don't, your account and products will be disabled and you need to upgrade to resume usage. Another question would be, what happens at the end of 12th month of free products? For 12 months, after you upgrade your account, certain amounts of popular products for compute, networking, storage, and databases are free. After 12 months, any of these products you may be using will continue to run, and you will be billed at the standard pay-as-you-go rates. Let's explore what is management groups. The organizing structure for resources in Azure has four levels. Management groups, subscriptions, resource groups, and resources. The following image shows the relationship of these levels. 
that is the hierarchy of organization for various objects so management groups are containers that help you manage access policy and compliance for multiple subscriptions all subscription in the management group automatically inherit the conditions applied to the management group a subscription group together user accounts and resources that have been created by those user accounts for each subscription there are limit or quotas on amounts of resources you can create and use organizations can use subscriptions to manage cost and the resources that are created by users teams and projects resource groups a resource group is a logical container into which azure resources like web apps database and storage accounts are deployed and managed and finally resources resources are instances of services that you create like virtual machine storage or sql databases now that we have learned about different azure subscription models and management group let's go and find out how to plan and manage cost in azure so i will see you in the next video till then take care